There we go. Now we're recording. That I know for a fact. All right. Oddly, I'm going to do kind of like a first-person unboxing of my new Dynon D3 that just came in the mail today. Um, I pre-ordered this through Aircraft Spruce and can't wait to see it. As you can see, I'm actually cutting the, the tape even. Of course, my paperwork showing that I purchased it. We've got paper. We've got some more paper. And then we have the box shoved inside there. Here we go, the Dynon D3 unboxing. Sorry for the lighting there a little bit. It's a little awkward. Uh, again, I'm doing this with a first-person view camera, so it's a little weird to begin with. I'm not used to doing this. So, let's see if we can't get this to come apart. Dynon D3. Set that aside. And let's see, what do we got to do to get this open? I have to admit, doing first person view camera is a little weird for me. So, there we go. Looks like we've got our instructions for mounting and alignment. A little quick start guide. We have, uh, let's toss that over there. We can move this over a bit. Got our little bit of foam. We've got our actual D3 unit with the original sticker on it. We'll leave that on temporarily. Set that aside. See what else we get in here. Got our thing there. All right. We've got, looks like a GPS receiver um, for the pocket panel, as it's called. A little plug-in GPS. Looks like a three and a half millimeter plug there. Set that aside. We've got a suction cup mount. Put that there. We have, looks like a uh, little mounting unit. And this looks more like a hard mount type situation. We'll see in a moment. And we have a little screen wiping kit. We have the actual mount and I'm sure that's what this would actually mount to as well. And it plugs into the back of that. You got all your screws and a little springy clip which will allow it to uh, clip right into the panel as well. We got a different uh, different mount, and I'm presuming maybe that one's for the other the other piece. Again, I'm just looking at it same as you are. Okay, we have a USB. Let's look at that because there's nothing else in the box. We've got a small dual port USB cigarette lighter plug. We have an angled USB-C um, plug. And then we have a regular power cord charger USB, it looks like. Pull that out. Regular power plug USB. And then lastly, we have just a small, looks like maybe a USB um, to USB-C uh, plug as well. 
At least I think that's USB-C. That might be something else. I don't know. You guys know better than I do, I'm sure. I will uh, see what it says in the paperwork. And, uh, well, let's see what this has for initial charge. All right, we got our plugs on the side for the GPS and for power. And what does it tell me? Does it say I have to charge it first before you use the uh, use for the first time? Please complete the following initial setups and configuration. The guide contains abbreviations, instructions, and products. Please download the full pilot's guide at dynon.com slash docs. Fully charge the battery. Check the D3 software updates and choose settings. Uh, mount and align D3 and go fly. All right. And if you can read that right there, I'll pull that up a little closer. And it is USB-C. That's what I thought it was. It says right up at the top. All right. Well, now that we've seen it, I'm going to charge it and get it together. And then... Uh, we will uh, give it a flight test and see what it looks like in an airplane. Okay, let me uh, shut this down for now.